Hello viewers, my name is Ayanat Jai Balan. In this video, we will see about how to detect unsaved changes while navigating to another page using God in Angular. Basically, if you have a form and you have a input controls like a text box and save button, but you have given some input and you have, you know, just, you know, you typed a value for the first name and you didn't save but you are trying to navigate to another page. So what will happen, It will uh, whatever changes which you made, it is not saved, but you know, accidentally you are moving to another page. Okay, at the time, if you want to have a confirmation before moving to another page, if you want to have confirmation, so you have some unsaved changes, do you want to save it or not? Okay, so it will be good to have that one, right? So, you know, to, uh, to give a warning to the user whether you want to save or not before navigating to another page okay so now we will see that one how to implement that one let's get into the implementation now let me create one new angular application data check app routing equal to true and style equal css now application is created. Let me get into that folder and open the VS code. Let me open the terminal first. And then now let me create a one, one component. First component. And let me create another component, second component. So in the first component, I'm just going to create one text box. Okay, uh, first name. Okay, and then I'm just going to create one button, save button. In that, I'm going to have one click event. Save. Okay, so let me get into the component now. Here. So to identify whether they made any changes in that one. Okay. In the text box, uh, let me have a change event here. So let me have a create a one flag called is dirty. Okay. By default false. I'm just keeping it here. So I'm going to, if any change happen, I'm just updating to true for sake. Whenever I'm saving this one, I'm going to make it as a false. That means I have already saved. Okay. Now I'm going to navigate to another page also. Okay. Let me have a router link. Router link to another second component. Second page. Okay, fine. And uh, let me define the route in the routing module. Here, app routing. So, a routes. So, 
I'm going to say certain component. Same way for the first. First component. Let me define the default route. to redirect to first component okay now just let me run the application now application is started let me check here Okay, by default it's loading this one and uh, this first component is loaded. Let me remove this one. App component dot HTML. I'm going to keep only the router outlet. I'm going to remove it. So okay, so it's loading the first component. Okay. I'm just when I'm navigating to second component, it's navigating. Okay, here is an example. Now, you know, I'm just typing here. Okay, so but when I'm clicking this without I didn't save anything. I'm just navigating to second page. Okay, what will happen? It will navigate to the second page. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to avoid, we have to ask a confirmation. Do you want to, you know, navigate to another page? Because you have some unsaved changes. Okay, so we have to ask this confirmation. Let's see that one, how to implement that one now. For that, let me open another terminal. Okay, um, let me create a one interface. Okay, component can deactivate. So let me open here. So in that, let me add a one method called can deactivate, and that's written type is boolean or observable boolean. Okay, let me have it. Observable boolean. Okay, it is created and I am going to implement this interface in the first component. Okay, let me implement this and deactivate. What is it name? Component can deactivate. So let me add the implementation. Okay, let me add a boolean function. So return. I'm just returning the steady flag. Okay, if it is dirty, I have to say that one, you know, please deactivate. So that means, you know, I don't want to move out of this form, out of this page. Okay, so that's why I'm just keeping this function. Okay. So, uh, to handle the routing, okay, to handle the router events, what we can do, we can use a guard. So, using that guard, we can handle the router events. So, that, you know, whenever we are navigating to any page, you know, that uh, guard will fire. For that, let me create a one guard. Okay. 
dirty check guard and in that I am going to implement can be activated okay let me open this guard so it's actually can be activate I have to specify which interface I have mentioned can deactivate I can use this function I'm not going to use this for now can activate let me remove it and uh, in that I'm going to specify this one component can deactivate here I'm going to check written this that component sorry not this one component dot deactivate and the activate function so this function uh, okay this one will fire whenever we are navigating to another component this will say that one you know whether uh, you should allow to navigate or not okay so now I have to add this guard as part of my route so let me go to that routing module and in the first one what I'm going to add, let me can deactivate. I'm going to add in that I'm going to add this data check guard. Okay, so that whatever what will happen when I am navigating out of this component, this guard will fire and check, and it based on the true or false return, it will decide whether we should whether uh, you can navigate or not. Okay, so let me check now. See, my application is running now. Application is running. So let me open the browser. Okay, I'm navigating to second page. So because I didn't make any changes to this one, that means it's not dirty. Okay. Let me add something here and I didn't save so that means this component is dirty component or dirty pitch now I am navigating to second you see that one it is not allowing to navigate to the second page because I didn't save here for example if I am saving here clicking so that means it's saved if now I am navigating to second page you see that one so we have implemented that but one thing I, we have missed here you know so if I click here you know after making some text I, I need some confirmation okay let add the confirmation here so let me get into the code again and let me get into that uh, guard here what I can do if true return true yes I'm going to ask I'm going to return I'm going to ask confirmation box you have unsaved changes in your page or in your form okay do you want to go to that do you want to go to that page I'm asking now okay now let's see what's happening let me open it again and just 
making this text box font is dirty. I'm adding save now, and when I navigate to second page, wow! So now I'm have you know I'm asking the confirmation box. If I say okay, okay, that means what I know that one I have made some changes, but I'm I'm not uh, you know uh, I'm okay to not to save that one. So I can click okay. If I click if I click cancel, it will stay on this page. Okay, let me click cancel here. You see that one? It is not navigated to another page. Again, I'm clicking. If I click OK, it will navigate to another page. Okay, this is a way you know we can detect you know our changes in the form or page, and uh, or you know it's this is this concept this concept is called as a dirty check concept. Okay, so we are detecting the changes, and we have to allow them to navigate to another page based on the decision of the user. Okay. So we will be asking the confirmation box, do you want to go or not? Hope you enjoyed and understand that one, how to detect the form changes and uh, how to protect that page to navigate to another page. Please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this. Thank you team.